Hi there, welcome back to my channel and we're going to be uh, playing some more Strange View. And of course we are still in the Sim State University. So like I said, we are going to jump back in and play um, some of the existing like pre-maids of Sim State. Which there's really only three households as you can see. Right now I'm ignoring these Sims in the bin. I thought maybe in like a future round I could incorporate them some way. but. For now, that's for a future thing to figure out. For right now, we are going to be playing... I'm going to jump into the Bright household. Looks like... And this is the thing is there's a lot of these these townies that I don't really know. And I've seen them around and I didn't even realize that they were actually part of a household. Um, like I've seen Martin around quite a bit. I've seen Jane around and recently saw Allegra. And I didn't even realize that they were actually in a household. I thought they were all just like dormies that wander. So I'm very excited to jump in and give them a try. I'm going to read their little bio here. Jane, Martin, and Allegra wanted to escape the craziness of campus life and decided to find their own place. Can they still have the college experience or will they, or will they just get lonely? Interesting. I guess we'll jump in and see. I have not um, touched them at all. Oh, we got a phone ringing immediately. Well, is this not just the most desolate Max's house you've ever seen? <laughs> I don't. I'm not going to mess with like... Change, take, making over the house or changing their appearances. I think I'm just going to leave them as they are, just their natural ones. Only thing that bothers me is Allegra's hair for some reason isn't default replaced, which that's a really basic hair I think I would have had replaced, so I might give her a, 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 like a custom clay hair. Anyway, hey Jane, is Martin sure? Martin, somebody wants to talk. I think that's one of like the sorority dudes, or not, or fraternity dudes or whatever. I might give, I'm going to give her a similar hair but just like a custom version there we go she's got something similar similar but but in my my preferred little style so anyway um it looks like they're okay oh they are so they're all different there's two two freshmen and one junior and it looks like their um timing in college hasn't updated to my mod i'm gonna just use a thing that hopefully will fix it okay i just fixed their i used a mod object to fix the um, the timing on all of their school stuff, so they should be all set. Where are they at here? Okay, we have some flirting happening and some kissing happening. <laughs> okay, Allegra seems to be very into these flags. Okay. What's what's our... I, I seem to remember Ruben having a thing with somebody else. Yes, Heather Huffington is also a crush of his. Oh, he's got a very good relationship with Miss Jane. Buck, he's, he's pretty good friends with. He knows Herb. Of course, Herb's on the first page of his people he knows. Of course he is. I love how everybody here is college kids, and then there's Herb. <laughs> then there's Herb. Oh, oh, that's right. Jane's got a thing with Buck, which I don't know how or why. I remember that. That's strange. She's also got three bolts with Vidkin Curious, which I feel like that says a lot more about her <laughs> than anything. Um, what about Allegra? Do you have anything going on? You don't really... Oh, she... Oh, who's this? Castor Nova. She got a little thing with Castor Nova. That's fun. I think he's also in that fraternity or whatever, which we'll play in a little while. I wanted to see... Do they have, like, bios? I don't even know, like... I don't know anything about them. So, Allegra's bio. Allegra is a bleeding heart romantic, but you wouldn't know that from looking at her. She dislikes the entire sorority as a matter of principle and sticks to her own small circle of friends and set. Okay. I mean, that's that seems... She's like kind of like a little goth chick or something. Jane has been spending a lot of time with the irresistible caster lately. Could something besides friendship be in the air? Oh, she's got good friends with caster. Is there going to be like a, f a thing between the two of them? About, about caster? Are they going to be fighting over caster? And then Martin's bio. Martin can hardly believe he's really related to a frat member. Rather than dwelling on it, though, he keeps his nose to the grindstone, hangs out with his roommates, and tries to avoid the sorority girls. Interesting. It seems like the autonomy in my um, game has decided otherwise from some of those stories, because this is a sorority girl that he is he is he was flirting with on a community lot in Pleasant View, so, <laughs> you know... But anyway, y'all got like stuff? Y'all got things? Y'all, this is kind of a... Yeah, Jane's got a lot of skills to do. 
It's weird because it shows like he needs certain skills, but his bar is already like maxed out, which is, is weird. I don't know why it... Same with Allegra. Like it so shows she... Oh wait, it just reset. That's weird. Did it just reset him? No. Why did hers just go down? That's weird. Wait, now she's got to do stuff. You need to practice charisma. Practice speech. How about you, dude? How about you study cooking? This is kind of chill in like a little house, though, instead of a... I mean, a, a dorm is more active and kind of fun, but, I mean, this is pretty chill. We'll be able to invite some sims over maybe during the daytime. All right, you got your charisma. I need you to do... Oh, actually, you can do a body skill on this thing. Turn the radio on, girly. You gotta work out. I can see her. She need now. This this girly's probably listening to metal. This seems like a metal girly. Go oh, here. There we go. I need you to work out to your hardcore metal. That is that is not a goth girl workout wear. I don't think. I mean, I guess it's a purple. I don't know. There we go. This is it. This is the vibe. <laughs> I, can hear, I think Allegra is my favorite so far, even though I don't even barely know any of them. I feel like this is actually her bed. We've got these posters here. This this is... You guys are doing good. How's our... Oof, your needs are like real bad in all the ways. Let me use this. I might sell their bathtub because in this environment, in this college environment, a bathtub just seems like a really non-productive choice. Like we need a, we need a shower where you can just be in and out real quick. This feels like this is probably his room. Based on the way, we've got a little flower here. This seems like Jane vibes. Oops, I, you didn't turn off your... What do you mean you're, you can't sleep to your metal, uh, Allegra? What kind of goth girl are you that can't sleep soundly to metal at full blast? She's a, she's a fake. Oh, it's 6 a.m. They're all going to bed at 6 a.m. That seems about right for, for this little college experience we're having here. Thing is, is they only have one computer... They're going to have to fight over it for their term papers, which I don't know how the college rampage will do that. Um, matchmakers here, ma'am. You don't need to be here. I think we're going to get, we need to get my little sim blender out here. Not sim blender. It's the visitor controller. I, who, who do I need to ban? It just goes by ban all the straight. Ban the locals. Ban the witches. <laughs> <laughs> ban the pregnant, <laughs> ban the plague. <laughs> what is this? Char oh, I'm under characteristic. I thought I hit sim type. No, that's not it. Specific sim. Ban knight from what? Who the hell is knight? Is there a somebody named knight here? Oh. <laughs> I found the knight. <laughs> this man's name. This man's name's Calhoun. Why? Why are we calling him knight? Ban Calhoun. Wait, so that's not knight. Wait, who's knight? <laughs> Are you knight? Oh, she's knight. <laughs> okay, we got we got multiple knights on the lot right now. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Anyway, this is this is ridic ridiculously complicated. Matchmaker, I'm making it complicated. The, the 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 thing's fine. It's me that's making it complicated. How about you? You want to come eat a sandwich for breakfast? We're having breakfast at noon. Come on down, Reuben. Reuben the ears. He's got some ears on him. Maybe we could just call him ears. Maybe that'll just be his name, is ears. What do you want? Complete freshman year. I think we can probably do that for you, Reuben. I think so. All right, Ruby. Ruby Tuesday. I'm going to have you do a college rampage. Ruby Tuesday the ears. <laughs> oh, wait. His last name's Reuben. His first name's not Reuben. <laughs> I'm calling him Reuben. His name's Martin. <laughs> Martin is not as fun as Reuben. <laughs> right, girly, when do you have to go to class? Is he going? I think Reuben. Uh, you know what? His name's Reuben now because that's all I can seem to call him. Reuben's going to class. <laughs> it's his turn. Who's here? Rune Piper's here. Nobody wants you here, Rune. Yeah, we gotta get. We gotta get Jane's. Um, oh, who's here? Why are you here? I guess she could, um, greet. We're very busy, buddy. We have how many hours? She's got 17 hours till her exam. And she's still in the red. So, Jane, why are you upset about the cow? We're gonna study some cleaning. This random dude, Kevin, came from the fraternity. 
the ears have returned. He's got a pretty good... He probably needs another... He needs another skill point, but... I'm gonna take you off College Rampage. Here, you wanna talk to Kevin? Wanna chat with... Oh, chat. looks like Kevin wanted to chat with you. Oh, okay. Every time I try to tell him to chat with Kevin... Don't look at me, Kevin. I'm trying to get you to talk to this guy. Why are you thinking about babies, Kevin? They, both of these boys got quite the profile. <laughs> We're unique. Who are you? Oh my gosh, this man's name's Ruben! <laughs> it's the real Ruben! This is who we were supposed to be playing all along! <laughs> Bye, Ruben! <laughs> these two don't seem to be getting along. What if we did like a little hangout moment? Are you gonna eat that or clean it up? Okay, good boy. <laughs> good boy. I never know with you. With you Sims. Oh, Allegra has returned. Okay, she's doing pretty good with her grades here. I'm gonna have her stop her her rampage. I wanna answer? Who's gonna are you answering the phone, Martin? Thank you. Who's calling? This guy again. Oh yeah, that's right. His bio said something about being related, so apparently oh. Huh. So Joshua Rubin is related to him somehow in this family tree. They're they're like cousins or something? Like a sorority dude. Interesting. This little one tile area right here seems like a Seems like an issue. Oops. Well, okay. Where is the man? Here he is. Right on over. Come on over, buddy. Always a pleasure. Yay. Castor Nova is coming over. That sounds like a... His name was meant to be Casanova. Like they're trying to make him a Casanova. That's what it sounds like. And now we got, because I did mention Jane was also into him, apparently, even though she's, like, not. She kind of is. Interesting. Maybe one day when Oleg was at, at class, Jane will invite him over and have, have some time with him. And it'll, it'll get messy. Oh, here he is. Him and, him and uh, Kevin got the same outfit on. A little bit goofy. We got a Greek caster. Forget about your shower. Oh my. We got a hot kiss. I guess we'll let these two just do their thing. We're gonna flirt suggestively. Uh-oh. Why, why are we running? Oh. She scared me. Jane scared me. She came running out here. But she wanted this book, apparently. Okay, she, she doesn't want the book anymore. Her fun is suffering. Rampage doesn't seem to be letting her take care of her fun. Can we just watch this? Oh, wow, this chair is filthy. It was just, like, had green coming off of it. Where are you at, Ruben? You could use a creativity point, Ruben. How about you sell Allegra's painting for her? I'm sure she won't mind. Not this... Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin made a point to turn off the TV that Jane was watching. You filthy. Jane, you need to sort that out. What are you doing, Kevin? <laughs> okay. He just stood at them. He just stared down at them. And then, okay, bye. I'm going now. I guess Castor's leaving. He said goodbye. Well, we had a, we had a very long cuddle session with Castor. That's fine. Her her level of um her grades are pretty good. How long? She got seven hours. Jane's got six hours. So they're all six or seven hours away from their final exam. So that's good. Um, order forty dollars. What's happening in the background here? Martin Rubin, why are you taking off your clothing? He's changed into his underwear and Jane is coming down the stairs. I think I've figured out what's happened. Allegra, I think maybe you should stay in this room. Right about here. I think you need to stand right about there for a little, a little bit. Or maybe, you know, better yet, come out here? How about you just stand right here? Um, and uh, wait for the pizza. You want to make sure it doesn't get stolen? You know how those dormies are down the street. Okay, they've got re uh their final exam re um rescheduled for five hours of so the morning time. First things happening on the couch right now. <laughs> I, of course they are. Can we can we can we maybe receive our pizza? Can Lauren look in the window? I guess not. Accept delivery. Are you in the middle of your shower? I told you to not do the shower. Please accept pizza. Pizza is important. These two have finished their, uh, fooling around. Anybody else hungry? Ruben, you look hungry. 
There's steaming hot pizza here. Also, the, you're hungry too, but you're also sleepy, so I guess she's sleeping. Once again, they're all going to bed at like 6 or 7 a.m. Aren't there exams like 8 a.m. or something? Or is it two hours? Yeah, right? Like 9 a.m. Yeah, there they go. They all got to get up. Girly, you got to get up too. Oh, oh, that was quick. Okay, so I'm going to just pause. So Jane got an A+, plus and she's now a senior. Allegra and Martin are now sophomores. They got Bs, which is just fine, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so Jane has decided she wants to be engaged to Martin. Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll think about that one a little bit. Oh my god, she's... The, the cheerleader scared me. <laughs> Just came running in. Everybody's running around here. We need to calm down, people. Stefa, we get it. We didn't invite you here, Stefa. This isn't the dorm. You know what I'm saying? Martin's gonna go to class. He's also gonna do some creativity skill learning. I feel like doing like an instrument is a better learning than this because it's does it isn't like a constant thing. It's like you have to paint and then sell and paint. So I guess it's it's fine, but kind of annoying. Okay, now the cheerleader's just gonna chill out and read. Okay, honey. Sure. There are some folks who have uh, expressed to me that they really like Allegra, which I've seen her around before. Oh, this, pr this old lady wants to talk to Allegra? No thanks. That she's- I know she's kind of one of the- also like one of the iconic sort of pre-made sims of, of some of the hoods and everything. I've seen like art of her before. So it's like, I'd love to have her be a playable, but it's like, I'd have to find somebody for her to get with. And I don't know who she would get with. I mean, she's kind of into Caster right now, so, you know, who knows? Holy crap, you need so much creativity skill. That was like such a bump of creativity all of a sudden. Why are you crying? Why is she... Sell for zero dollars. She's sobbing. Because Martin's painting was worth nothing. She's realizing the man she has loved, she's falling in love with, is a hack. He's worth nothing. <laughs> now she's going to paint herself. Seems like maybe I can get like a skill point or so per painting. As long as I'm staying on top of her. Whoops. Oh, hello, Martin. Why am I hitting all the wrong buttons? I'm trying to get her to grind out. Okay. I'm trying to get her to grind out her creativity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the, the logic of Sims is... The, my, my brain, something's telling me to paint, but I'm hungry, so I should probably watch TV. <laughs> I can't paint right now because I'm hungry, but TV will help. My gosh, this place is a mess. Can y'all try to do a little bit of picking up and cleaning here? Not you f swooning over Allegra, not her swooning over him. What is with this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> Y'all, why are we doing this? We've got Allegra, her little bar full for right now. She could do a little bit better. We could get her, I'm going to try and see if I can get her creativity up a little bit. I've just been kind of spending the day grinding them away. I would like him to do a little bit better. He's going to go charm her, but he really needs... Uh-oh, Vidkind and Jane are no longer friends. <gasps> what a crime. He needs to study cleaning skill. I want to get him at least in the safe zone, and then I would like to have... I probably will end up being next episode, we'll have him and um, Jane go for a little date. Why are we doing the punches in the bathroom here? What is this? Is this some kind of weird flirting? Is this how Allegra flirts as she punches people? <laughs> Does that seem right? Who is calling? It is now the next morning here. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to grind away and get them to a good point before we end this episode. Maybe to like just before their next final exams, so we'll be kind of off and running when we're done. Martin, you know what? Or, you're not Martin. You're the other Reuben. No, Mooten 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 Robin. I can't speak. <laughs> I just I just completely ate that man's name. We're gonna not even talk about it. Early, you got some bad social. Here, let's let's wake up this guy. Not the streaker. I just saw a streaker go by. You know what? Can we get... Oh. Who did I... What am I hearing? I'm hearing... Oh, I just heard a social bunny. Awkward. Not the... Not this 
that, that, that's not this. <laughs> we have a social bunny and a streaker. <laughs> this is too much. Whoops. In this ugly, like desolate apartment. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we? What exactly are we doing here? Okay. Even the bunny was shocked. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's tell the bunny a dirty joke. Give him a hug. Let's chat. Why not? We'll utilize his services. I hate that the bunny has no voice. Like, I feel like... But also, I don't know if... Having... If it had, like, some weird high-pitched voice or something. Or, like, even a deep voice. Like, that might be even, like, worse than no voice. <laughs> Maybe? It's just, like, completely silent. Oh, uh, we gotta pay some bills. Oh, here's your mans. Wait, come greet Caster. Caster's wandering by, girly. Stop painting. Come see Caster. Don't look at me, Caster. You're walking by. <laughs> there she is. Alright. Also, can you get the mail for me while you're out here, girly? Thanks. Appreciate it. Ugh, not him. Just standing here. I forgot he was here. <laughs> He's just here. Caster saw him. Caster made eye contact with Social Bunny. Clapping. He's like, yes, you're doing talking. Good job. <laughs> what are you doing with the cow? What's happening? There's a cow out here. Taddy. Taddy the cow is annoying us. How's your, like, schooling? Why is the... I guess Bunny's done with us. We need her to do some college rampage stuff. You know what? We could just have her have, like, a little date here with him. Why not? Her schooling is all up and good, so she can spend some time. She, they've got a little ways. 21 hours until the exam. There we go. He's on a date. That's a dream date. What does he want? I didn't look at his wants. Oh, she wants... <gasps> he wants to get engaged to Allegra. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should lock that in. He wants to woohoo. Is there a woohoo location on this lot? Technically here, I guess. No, this here, this doesn't... That's The Sims 3. I was thinking since we technically the, the chair, Jane would get up. They can do a woohoo on the sofa. There we go. They're gonna do their thing. Where are you? He was just headed to admire Reuben. Mar what was that reaction, Martin? Martin's gonna watch um th th a drama movie called The Bubble Bath while these two woohoo on the couch next to him. <laughs> that seems good. <laughs> You're hungry. Somebody didn't finish making sandwiches. Come make some sandwiches, Reuben. I mean, Martin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why my head gets stuck with Reuben for him. There we go. We got our woohoo want for these guys. They got, they got a dream date status now. Oh, not this cow. What is happening? Why is this cow in there? What? Martin, Martin Reuben is eating out of the cow's ass. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what are we doing, y'all? What? Why are you sm why are you rubbing your hooves together and looking at me? What is what is this chaos? I think this cow is stuck here, cause he cause before he was scooched out a little with the chair like he, like this so she could get in there. Now she's stuck. You know what, cow? I think it's what you deserve. I think you deserve to stay right there. I'm gonna let you just stay right there. <laughs> You're fine. He's trying to fight with everybody. Why would we let you out of there? You're just you're just here to beat everybody up. That's all that's happening. Is he just swooning over? Was Caster just swooning over the cow? Excuse me. Yeah, cow's trying to annoy everybody. You know what? I think we're gonna end this date because we are at dream date. Holy cow! <laughs> I never knew a date could be so much fun. She knows. The cow knows. All right, Jane, you're very hungry, girly. Why are you out here? Come grab a plate. Come grab a plate and have a conversation with the cow. We have a table cow. Farm to table. Yeah. Farm to table. <laughs> this is awkward. She's like, you want some milk? It's <laughs> creepy. She's, she's shooting hoops. Okay. This is cursed. <laughs> also, Caster. I didn't know you were still here, Caster. I was watching a cat movie. You know what? Jane, I'm gonna have you pick up the phone real quick. Come here. Stop. Pick up. We're gonna give good old Vidkin a call. Let's just talk. We gotta earn our re-earn our friendship with good old Vidkin. 
Be serenade. The cow's trying to serenade Jane. Oh, she's talking about having two loves at once. With Vidkin. <laughs> Interesting. Her needs are getting kind of low. Did she become... Oh, she did become... She wants to be best friends with Vidkind. I was thinking about the only downside of having, like, Jane and Martin get in actually engaged is that we want them to be joining the townie pool and kind of, like, open for anybody who... Whatever sim we happen to need to have a partner. And having townies that are already engaged is kind of not ideal. Same with... Caster and Allegra, but I don't know. Maybe it'd be okay for like one pair to be together, like officially, but then the others I kind of would like them to be as part of the townie pool. I don't know. I might unlock Get Engaged to Martin. I'm not sure. I'm going to unlock it for now. Oh, okay. There was a serenade that just happened through the table. How did that happen? Bye. Okay, cow. I'd like to see you leave. Show us. <laughs> Show us, cow. Show us. Everybody's just gathering around with the spaghetti. We've had a lot of like cursed moments in this this single little episode. Oh, we got a little we got a little bouquet from Castor just now. We gotta get this. There we go. Why do you have spaghetti in your in a serving platter of spaghetti in your inventory? That's a choice. Okay, it's 2 a.m. I think maybe we're gonna go to sleep. Are you gonna go to sleep, girly? You need to go to sleep. You're trying to go flirt with with uh, Martin. I think everybody, we're just gonna put everybody down for, for bed here. And then we're gonna end this episode. Everybody is asleep. Uh, we have our cow captive in the table still. Um, yeah, this was quite a, a fun little chaotic uh, time with this household. We are gonna be continuing Next episode, we'll be getting both Allegra and Martin um, through their senior, junior and senior years. They're both very close to getting um, their exams done, so I'll just be kind of getting them through that. And then Jane, next episode, will be graduating. She's so much farther ahead of them, so she'll be off and, and running. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.